These are some uh, souvenirs my parents brought back from uh, Germany when they were uh, sent to post-war occupied Germany. They uh, purchased uh, this apparently in Kitzbühel. That's what it says on it. And uh, has a marking of 29 on there. Maybe those were marks, I don't know. And here again, Kitzbühel, I don't know if my parents were there, but I would assume if they got these, they probably were. And uh, they did talk about Wiesbaden uh, frequently, and I believe that's where my sister was born. And, uh, and then there's these uh, coat of arms. You know, in, in Europe, it uh, develops so much differently than here. Uh, everybody, there was kings all over the place and rulers, and they had their fiefdoms. And uh, and they weren't too far from each other. So apparently, uh, this would be a good souvenir item. And I, I even noticed when I went to Germany early, or a year ago, they had great souvenirs. But this one from Zellum Z, this one from Haleen, this one from Steyr, maybe, and this one from Salzburg. My, uh, my dad never talked about these places individually. He did talk about these bottom though, and he did talk about uh, Kitzbühel, but he didn't elaborate on them. And uh, some other places. He, my dad, sort of being uh, only about 22 or three years old, sort of adopted the European look uh, throughout the rest of his life. He wore these uh, hats that. Uh, you might see in a, one of these, he didn't wear a leader hose or anything like that, but he, he used to collect pins and put them on this hat. And uh, he really uh, uh, he really loved his time in Europe when he was with my mom. That, that's an interesting story on how the, the two of them wound up there. And, uh, but that's for another time.